Hey everybody, welcome to Back Issues, I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. Let's do the Spider-Man clone saga. Oh, Let's what? Not. Wait, we did that we already. We did the clone saga. It's I feel like, like we've done the clone saga like five times. <laughs> well, that's because we've done parts. for some reason, Marvel's obsessed with clones. Yeah. They love their clones. And they think that like, clones and Spider-Man are ubiquitous. Right. No, that's just a thing that happened that sucked. And I don't know why people keep it forcing happened it on and Spider-Man. Well, that's how uh, clones replicate. You know, they just make little clones of themselves. Yeah, they're just everywhere. Right? So? That's what eggs are. For some reason, Marvel keeps doing these clone sagas, and I, I, I honestly, and I think I've said this before, I think it is a test of hubris by people who think that they can do no wrong. Like, when Bendis was on Ultimate Spider-Man, at one point or another he was like, by the way, next thing, clone saga. And right. everyone's like, what? <laughs> yeah, but nobody likes that. Nobody, he's like, yeah, but I'm gonna do it right. So everyone's just like, I'll, look, I'll the it. clone saga yeah. has legs. Right. No, th- you that, just gotta learn yeah. how to run with them. Well, we know we're gonna get your attention by saying Clone Saga. Yeah. You're immediate. You have an immediate yep. gut reaction. Even if you hate it. Yeah. Right. I do have an immediate gut reaction. It's bad publicity. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I, 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 Marvel really, really pays attention to that. They're they're all in on right. that. Yep. To the yeah, point where if literally you hate it. Why? Why yeah. would people buy it? Well, we're talking about it right now. People people buy a lot of things they hate, especially yeah. comic book fans. <laughs> uh, but they just announced maybe a week or two ago, Miles Morales is getting his own Clone Saga. <laughs> And I'm like, what is wrong with you, Spider-Man, the real clone saga? What does that mean? Is that like the real Ghostbusters? <laughs> right? No. <laughs> this is written by two people who share some of the blame for the original clone saga. Oh, no. They're going back to the well. They're going back to the well. The idea was, okay. the conceit is that the clone saga made money. And... People have nostalgia for things, even if they were terrible. Right. And the Clone Saga's main complaint, according to two of the people who wrote it, is that it just went on too long. Not that it was creatively inherently bankrupt stupid. or inherently stupid, <laughs> but that it was just too fucking we long. We should just we and you know we wanted to end it, but yeah. the, the editors they, were like, "Oh, oh you yeah. got to keep it going." Yeah, that other milk people this cash not cow. named Tom DeFalco and Howard Mackey. <laughs> wanted to keep it going. Those two wanted to keep their precious integrity intact. Right. But uh, they had some ideas for how to end the Clone Saga. No one agreed on them because it was Marvel's flagship character mm-hmm. and all of them involved like time travel or oh. more clones. and Or a three-way with Mary Jane. <laughs> that, that was just their fan fiction. But they ultimately came together and they were like, this is what would happen if we didn't have editors and we were mm. allowed to just kind of like tell... If we could retcon our own past right. and tell you the Clone Saga as it should have been. Uh-huh. So this is like, this is kind of one of the firsts in publishing. It only came out a few years ago where literally Howard Mackey and Tom DeFalco just sat down. And they were like, let's just do the Clone Saga again, but in six issues. Isn't it the same story though? Is it though? If, if I know where it ends, if I have the ending already in mind as I'm writing it, it actually ends up being a lot shorter. Yeah, mm. it's shorter, but it's still the same it story. Should the beginning nope. be the same? No. Yes. Okay. Now, this is outside continuity, then. Completely outside okay. continuity. And this how is... could you tell, looking at this book, that this is not in continuity? Uh, you don't. Ah. I mean, the fact that you see Ben <laughs> Riley in his Scarlet Spider costume is one indicator, because... He the... wouldn't be wearing it. He wouldn't be wearing current that. continuity at that's that right. time. That's okay. right. Yeah. But... Well, that's just how but it's not... drawn now. Yeah. But it's not labeled, like, Elseworlds or... Nope. No, Marvel doesn't have that. They don't do that. Although they could have called it What If Spider-Man Clone Saga, but they didn't do that, even though they have literally a label for that. Yeah, th- this is just, they're saying like, well, you read the Clone Saga, but you this know. is the real Clone you Saga. You know, you know what this is. This is like the X-Files version of the Clone Saga. Right. Like it's dust, because it, this it's is like, the real one. We've not, found it. This is not the like the shiny one that they sell you in a store. Yeah. This <laughs> is the nitty gritty. No, <laughs> you go digging for the truth, you find this. <laughs> right. <laughs> For my money, this is this is inauthentic as hell. Uh, uh, so you I, don't believe? No, I do not that believe. this is the real clone saga. Well, it's not. Like, if you have it, to put the real in front of something, it's probably not real. Right. <laughs> this, this is inherently not the real clone saga. The real clone saga is like 600 issues and lasted way too long. I, I watched yeah. it happen. That was what happened. happened. That was the original. We had it. It's yeah. over. Yeah. That's the real clone saga. Yeah. It, it's in omnibus form. There's like five of them. That's the real Clone Saga. This is the attempted fix. Yeah, this is Mackie and DeFalco being like, yeah, but we could all agree 
like some of our ideas were pretty good though. Right. And we just weren't allowed to finish it right. Yeah. And so as a result, they also like make editorial decisions of their own. It's also drawn by Todd Nock, who's not an artist from the original Clone Saga. Hmm. Oh, that would be confusing. That would be, I, I think it would have been actually a really good idea. Yeah. No, if it looked the same and sounded the same, my I, God. I, I think they chose Nock because they wanted him to approximate a kind of feel that you can't really replicate outside of the original Clone Saga. Mm. You know, like, there was a lot of really odd choices and exploitative art throughout that, that saga. Mm. It was just, well, who was drawing Spider-Man at that time? So you have like all these different artists all doing different shit and all kind of like getting their sea legs. Like you, you can't really argue that Bagley what, isn't better today than he was in the Clone Saga. You know, like Bagley got better. Right. So if yeah, you had practice. him do this book, it wouldn't really be the same. It wouldn't be the same. Although it would, it would be shades of the same because it, it actually would be, I think, more authentic mm -hmm. because it's everyone involved in the Clone Saga trying to pretend like they could do it better now. They're having fun with it because Mackie and DeFalco hadn't written Spider-Man for a long time. DeFalco, of course, had written a bunch of alternate reality Spider-Man's daughter comics. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. But Mackie, nowhere near Spider-Man for a while. So these two are just, they're just, they're just riffing. Yeah. <laughs> and unfortunately, when you have two authors who haven't touched Peter Parker in like, 20 years and they're all just riffing and you have two Peter Parkers in this story <laughs> it's just a constant it's just ah! well, it's just too much there's it's no bad much. idea for them it just keeps coming out it was like what if this Peter doesn't say it alright well the, the clone can say it yeah and so everyone's just riffing and quipping but not like clever or fun mm. it's just incessant like you need someone to be like uh that one's no good don't use that one and, yes. and neither of them was doing that. And that, what, what, what Ben said is absolutely 100% accurate. Where they were like, well, Ben, well, Peter can't say that. Well, then Ben will say it. <laughs> there. Like, Problem solved. As opposed to when you're writing Spider-Man. like get it all in. Yeah. All it, the ideas. All the ideas. Hey, you know what? Why six issues? Why not 106? Like, ah! You know what it was? We didn't li we limit ourselves too much in the first one. Yeah. Just yeah. keep going. Yeah, yeah. We, you know, we'd have ideas for things that, like, someone could say. And then someone was like, no, nah, you can't say that. Like, so we had to throw half of it away. Well, why not just... Put the other half in the other guy's mouth. That's right. And so you have two characters who just like incessantly just just riff at each other yeah. and everyone's caught in the it's middle. Exhausting. And you have one character, Kane, of course. Oh yeah. Who's in this because he's he, He's the Kane deformed from, fucked up clone. That's right. right. <laughs> and and he's like, and even he is like, stop quipping, but then he starts quipping. And you're like, oh, you oh can't my beat God. him. <laughs> he doesn't even say that, unfortunately. He's like, well. Rrr. I wish he was the clone of Ben Riley, so you could have the clone's clone. <laughs> I mean, technically, I guess he was for a time because Ben was the real one, huh? Uh, anyway, so the, the Spider Man, the real clone saga, is just like, okay, so you get it. You remember, like, you remember 1994 or whatever. Okay, so the I actually don't really remember. The context for the Clone Saga, just getting you back to where we were. Right. Harry Osborn died. He took too much of the Goblin Serum and, and he died. Uh, he also, before yeah. he died and had a change of heart, set things in motion that would torment Peter, including having artificial life form decoys impersonate his parents and return from the dead oh. and then try to kill him that was there so that happened too and what's amazing is of course like in the context of the time a bunch of weird shit happened to peter parker that made him lose it and before we even get to the clone saga Peter, like, webs himself into a cocoon in his bedroom and then, like, emerges as the spider and he's just um, angry and frustrated and then he has, like, a... He, and then he's dying of a disease and the, it's just... There's a lot going on in Peter's life and it makes him, like, o over the edge and he's just freaking out. Well, they forgot about that part. They kept the part where <laughs> Harry died and the, okay. and, and the decoy parents, but they left out, like, the emotional baggage of that. Mm. Oh, also Aunt May, like, had a heart attack. And so she's in the hospital. So Peter's like, I'm losing everything. Except for my beautiful supermodel wife. But never mind that. Because, like, that can't be enough. Right. That's the weird deal. You're that Mary Jane. You're not enough. Well, <laughs> yeah. It, it's like, well, you... The thing is, I already had Mary Jane. Right. Like, you gave me my parents and took them away. You gave me my best friend back and they took him away. Mm -hmm. And then you try to take Aunt May away. Maybe they'll take away Mary Jane. And then Mary Jane, of course, became pregnant during that time. 
Oh yeah. So there was that going on. For All I remember is that the clone was upset outside Aunt May's hospital room because he's like, <laughs> was, oh, oh, she's my right. aunt too. He couldn't talk to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. They forget about the emotional baggage of all that and just leave in the plot points of Harry died and, you know... The parents, and were, the parents there. were there. And then... Worked. I didn't even remember his parents. We didn't really cover thing. that story. Yeah, okay. And that's fine. So, that's where we were. They changed some things. Like, it's not like it's a what if. Because if a, a what if is like we change this one thing and it creates a ripple effect. Right. This is... We're it's rewriting... Just, it's just happening differently. Yeah, we're rewriting <laughs> the Clone Saga. Yeah. Like, what if we had the sensibilities of 20 years later and <laughs> yeah. the hindsight of all the things we tried that didn't work, we're just not going to do those anymore. So it's right. like, it's completely unfair and not real. Right. Well, not only that, but like, why do it? Right. Well, why do... Because I always wanted to tell it this way. Well, and I'm sick of being or... blamed for the clones. You yeah. know what? You want to blame me for the clone saga? Fine. Let me give you a good version of yeah. my clone you wanna, saga. You want to you wanna attack the clone saga? At least attack the one that I wanted to write in the first place. Yes. You know, throw, no. throw your darts at this. Right. As you opposed know. to the but, thing but, that... But, but let me tell you You put your name and your you history on to. that one. When you're done reading that's it. That's right. The one that was the original. That's what was created. No, no, that's no, what no. They let me do what for. I wanted. Yeah. It doesn't count. Yeah. I this was in counts. a room of like 10 people. This is a room of three. The way the original Clone Saga like kicked off, even though it like wasn't written to be an arc or a story, it was just a thing that happened. <laughs> Peter visited Aunt May in the hospital, and then he goes up to the roof to be Spider-Man, and he bumps into Ben Riley, mm -hmm. And he's like, what? You're Peter Parker. I must be freaking out, because of course at that point his literal psyche was shattering. Yeah. And so he's like, he's super on edge. Well, we leave that, that's, that's gone. So now cooler heads could prevail. So when we have the exact same interaction. Oh, hey bro. You look like me. Yeah, it's it's fist bump. Yeah, they don't quite <laughs> go in that direction because Mackie and DeFalco like kind of remember that Peter was on edge, but not like why or to what degree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they wrote it, and they have the books to reference. Maybe they disagreed with that. They're like, no, no, no he wouldn't be that on edge. He, like that was an editorial decision to make him freak out. Okay, but like he was though, and all the things that happen are a direct result of his well, behavior. Well, I, I didn't like those parts either. Oh, okay. This is retconning like. Prior stuff too. Yeah. So like, while they're visiting Aunt May, Mary Jane gets sick and she goes, she's like, I'm in a hospital, I might as well go see a doctor. So she talks to the doctor and she finds out she's having morning sickness. Mm. And so she's like, uh oh, oh, oh th no. Th there is no subplot there. It's just like, she tells Peter she's pregnant later. But uh, you know, Spider-Man runs into Ben Riley. Oh, it's you. Uh oh. They, they fight. Oh, they do, okay. Just like the last time. The reason why Ben is even here is because Ben Riley has been periodically calling Aunt May on the phone right. and pretending to be some distant relative and just checking up on her. Yeah. That's the one part of his life he couldn't let go. Also, his high school class ring. And it's like, that was one of the indicators back in the original Clone Saga when they were like peppering in cameos of Ben Riley. They were only showing his hair or his jacket or his motorcycle. And every time they showed his hand, they showed this like ring, this class ring. But like all we saw was like the gem in it and the the the, the, the filigree and stuff. We didn't see like that it said like Midtown High or anything. So it's just or the year or the year. So all we're seeing is just like a ring. And I'm like, what the hell is this? And they're like, it, we were telling you, it's the clone because he has Peter Parker's class ring. Where'd he get it? Peter Parker got a class ring. <laughs> that was never a thing. That was never a thing. Yeah. And. How, how is that the indication? How is that the, the, the breadcrumbs to indicate that's the clone? So is there a story that I missed somewhere? I don't where think the you clone... understand how important a class ring is, right. uh, sir. But where did he get it? <laughs> but that's not an indication. Like, did the clone yeah. sneak how into Peter's house? How am I house? supposed to know that? Yeah. How am I supposed to know oh, that's his yeah, ring? You're not. You remember that issue where Peter Parker's like, my ring is gone. You know yeah. my ring. Never the did one that. that. I always wear. Yeah, my, yeah. This like twenty-seven-year-old man is like, yeah, my high school class ring. Like no one does that. So anyway, Peter attacks Ben. Ben is here because he heard. Because in this version, Ben heard Aunt May collapse on the phone, and so he rushes 
to New York to see her. Mm. I think that happens in the original Clone Saga too, so it works out. Okay. But like Peter isn't like, I'm gonna fucking kill you! Like, because that's what he was like the whole time before. Right. Now he's just kind of like, oh, quips and jabs, let's yeah, have some it's fun. Like fun. You look like me, why? What? I, like, you I, can't I, be I threw you in a smokestack. Yes, <laughs> and Ben's like, yeah, you threw me in a smokestack, but like, you're not a doctor. You're really bad at checking pulses. I didn't die. I was in a mild coma and then woke up halfway down the tube. It was terrifying, thanks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm traumatized, now I wanna kill you. No, there's no moment like that. But literally he's just like. Was he in a spider coma? An arachnid healing coma? Yeah, an yeah, arachnid yeah. healing coma. Oh, there coma. you go. Yeah, from the, uh, from the spider guy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So Peter finally just chills out for a minute. Uh -huh. and, so the t and then Ben gives him his whole backstory. My name's Ben Riley, named myself after Uncle Ben and Aunt May's maiden name. And you know, and I've been tooling around, you know, the the American like West in my on my sweet motorcycle for for the last five years. Are you a photographer? No, that's lame. That's lame. I'm a short order cook. So, oh. Spider Man's like, wow, cool. And then they get attacked. Someone throws a car at them. Oh, a Mini Cooper on yeah. top of a building. Yeah. What? what? Cars aren't supposed to be on top of buildings. No. They team up to rescue people from the car. Because the car's on fire, it lands on the roof, bounces off the roof, and starts to fall towards, you know, innocent people. Okay. Uh, Spider-Man webs it, but he's not strong enough to stop the car, so then Ben has to swing in and stop the passerby from being squished by it. Oh. So, you know, Ben swings into action. I can't stop the smallest of cars! Yeah, it's literally the smallest car you could think <laughs> of at the time! And Kane's like, curses! Because he's involved. Uh, he's, he's the one who threw the car. Right. Whoa. Is that what Kane looked like? Yeah. I remember the hair. Oh, I can picture the hair. <laughs> yeah, Kane had weird veins and a tattered purple cape. Okay. I remember the veins. Okay. See, I remember the veins. I, I didn't well, remember I was them between looking the three like of that. us, we remembered entirely what Kane looked like. Exactly. <laughs> In case you're wondering who Kane is. Kane is, I think, the first clone of Peter, but like he's a he's came out wrong. He came out wrong. He yeah. Came, he has he has a little bit of the degenerative disease. The, the uh, Easy Bake Oven light broke about mm -hmm. halfway through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was rejected and he has this like, you know, inferiority complex. Also a variant on his spider ability to like stick to things has malformed into what he refers to as the Mark of Cain, which is just he burns Marks people. people. Yeah, with yeah. his hand. I'm gonna uh, rip your skin off. Yeah, that doesn't really happen in this. It happens like once. In the, in the, in the original Clone Saga, he does it like every other Tuesday. Well, that's his move. That's his move! That's what makes him special. That's what no, now special. I throw cars. Yeah, now, now my thing is I whip cars at you. <laughs> but anyway, he's like, oh, I can't believe they like they put aside their differences so fast. I guess it's a meta commentary on like they how we saved originally. ourselves literally a hundred issues. Right. So Great. So Peter and Ben regroup on the roof and they're like, wow, like what the hell was that? And uh, and Peter's like, I don't know. And then Ben's like, it was probably Kane. Kane's a character who's been throwing shit at me for like the last five years. He hates me. So Peter and, and, and Ben are attacked now by like green globules that fall out of the sky. What? It's just this, this book. Did this happen? It's so funny how like... I don't remember that. No, it didn't. Okay. Because now it's different. Okay. We always wanted there to be a scene where green, green globs fell out of the sky on Peter and Ben. Yes. Where just yeah. like the sky rains mucus on yeah. them. Yeah, where they just get attacked by Flubber. And, uh, you know, because... You remember Ben's... how big Flubber was remember, back then? You remember Flubber? <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. Like, okay, so Flubber was a movie. Was a movie <laughs> starred Robin Williams about, like, a gel that could, like, do anything. <laughs> I didn't see Flubber. <laughs> I didn't see Flubber. <laughs> Neither did I! Hey, it's a movie from the 90s that was none of Robin us Williams? saw. Was it Robin Williams? Yeah. Okay. He, he it did was... a lot of stuff back then. Yeah. I th wasn't it, um... I thought it was Eddie Murphy. Disney original a long no. time ago. No, that's The Nutty Professor. Oh, that's yeah. The Nutty Professor. Wasn't that part of the Flubber universe? No! So... <laughs> I thought The Nutty Professor the invented... The Flubber Cinematic Universe! <laughs> yeah, with Flubber, The Master I, Disguise, I was, and The Nutty Professor. I, I was pretty sure Flubber was connected to The Nutty Professor in some way. No because way. they're both scientists? Well, no, no, they were both from something prior, right? What? The, no, the Nutty no, Professor they, existed, were they, like, Were back. they both old Jerry Lewis vehicles? I don't Pop know. the idea? Very possibly. Tell us the cops have a lot of Flubber in the Nutty Professor. I don't know if, don't know if Jerry universe. Lewis was Flubber, but Jerry Lewis was definitely the Nutty Professor. Yeah, yeah. I thought I thought he invented Flubber. Mm -hmm. Not that the 90s movie Flubber was connected to the Eddie Murphy movie. Oh. 
the Nutty Professor. Oh, you thought that the flubber was in the Nutty Professor. Yeah, the original one. Right. I don't know. Anyway. anyway. You know, if you're gonna do this, sit down and just plot it out and like really put some 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 elbow grease into this thing. <laughs> right. But there's no reason not to. There's no reason not to. But for whatever reason, this thing is like they're worried that like the pages are going to disintegrate if you don't read it fast enough. Like I, I don't know what it is, but like this book goes at a breakneck speed to the point where y you want to tell the Clone Saga in six issues. Tell the Clone Saga in six issues. But what these guys do is they're like, okay, each issue will be like a snapshot, and then we're going to cut to like time has passed. Mm. Like no, 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 no. no. You're telling the Clone Saga. You don't get to go like, and then some other stuff happened in between that, like that you know, because like you you read the Clone. Like no, we want it to take as long in Peter's world as it took when it was happening. Right. But we only want to use six issues. So, so we're yes. just gonna cut out some stuff and say it happened. Yes. That's insane. And, and you don't even know what stuff did or did not happen. Just the stuff you like. Yeah, because they're like. changing things. Yeah, you've already changed it irrevocably from issue one, so you can't just assume that like the Scryers happened or that like Judas Traveler was involved. He's, they're not by the way. And it's like, you can't just pick and choose. I mean, that's the conceit no. of this yes, whole thing. Can. <laughs> but like it's just it's just maddening yeah it's sloppy so they get attacked by green globules and like it attaches to them and it's like it's just it's becoming this kind of like cocoon around them uh -oh. you're supposed to cocoon and heal <laughs> yeah get in there it's right the, it's the narration that's right that's right but uh it's it's averse to fire no they're not symbiotes it's just green shit and right. uh, most things are averse to fire. Yeah, so. and they they call them bio bombs or something like that. But does um, anyway? Cool. So they get attacked and uh, oh, cool! My Spider-Man action figure came with bio bombs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> blah. And it's just it's just it's just ooze. It's just slime. Yeah. But uh, or gak. Yeah, it's gak. Remember gak? So so Ben rolls over near some fire from the car. Oh right, it left some fire hacks. on the roof. So <laughs> left behind some fire. Yeah. So he burns. <laughs> He burns the goop off of himself, and mm. then he grabs Spider-Man, who's, yeah. who's, who's enveloped gooped. in the goop. Yeah. And so then Ben grabs Peter, and he takes him to the smokestacks. And Peter's like, he's going to kill me and take my life! And he's like, oh, no, I no, that's not what I'm going to do. He's like, no, Peter, you and I are coming together. So he grabs Peter, and the two of them jump into the smokestack, <laughs> and the heat from the smokestack burns off the goop from Peter. And it's like... There's there's fire adjacent. Use the same fire you just used. It's right there. It's no, right no, there. no. This is going to be a metaphor for like, <laughs> I'm going, you threw me in a smokestack, but now I'm throwing you in a smokestack, but I'm going to do it the right way. I'm going in the smokestack with, with you. you. <laughs> like, okay, I was going in like the you smokestack gone with me. to, to get dispose rid of, of you. your body, not to get shit I off of you. Because I thought you were dead. Yep. It wasn't like I threw you away as a living person. I thought you were refuse. Right. <laughs> You were actually just a problem for me because you were me in a Spider-Man costume. It's amazing. So, so they emerge. How far do you have to go to get to those smokestacks? I picture Peter He's, like getting progressively covered in he goo. He swings away. It's like, like he has later. to take like a ride. Like this, <laughs> it's far. You couldn't find any fire before that. I will admit. There's, Kane there's pushes a, a water tower onto the roof, so there's so oh, all so the, the fire nearby goes out. fire goes out. Uh, okay. So they have to leave. So he has to go to a smokestack. He has to go to the smokestack. Oh my goodness, no who's fire. attacking us? No time for that. No. You you could have taken him to like, I don't know, the Baxter building and had the human torch burn it off of him and then while they're there, ascertain like how Ben's doing since he's a clone and shit, but whatever. So You could have dropped onto the street and gone to any local restaurant and be like, hey, can I borrow your kitchen? <laughs> So, but no, but then because the two of them jump into the smokestack together, when they emerge, they it was a you know kind of like a tribunal for them, and they and, they, and they, when now that they're bad, they're brothers. Trial right. by smoke. Yeah. Trial, yeah. Trial by stack. smokestack. That's yeah. right. That's right. So Kane's like, okay. Oh no, I've solidified their bond. Well, yeah. Well, now Spider-Man knows now they're brothers. Like, yes. <laughs> Spider-Man can now empathize better with Ben Riley because he has now been thrown into a smokestack. That's as right. Well. By himself. Yeah. Like, I know what it's like to throw myself into a smokestack. And it doesn't feel very good, I'll tell you that. The betrayal I felt by you, now I know how you feel. Okay. Yeah, but you were unconscious. I was alive. Yeah. Yeah. I saw this shit. But uh, Kane's like, don't worry. Like, he's talking to some unseen clandestine figure off, you know, 
via right. radio. Right. He's like, they survived the bio bombs, and their bond is even stronger. <laughs> you were right. That that would work. What? And then the mysterious figure is like, yes, because no one knows Spider-Man better than me. <laughs> And he's got like a whole like command center with like screens. Oh yeah. So then is we it the jackal. Tech. It, the jackal is in this. So uh, <laughs> you know, then we cut to the future, and yeah. Ben has made the Scarlet Spider costume. He's accepted the Scarlet Spider moniker. He's fighting Kane. And he's like, come on, Kane, explain to me why you want to kill me all these years. Like, just, I know that literally you've been fighting me for five years, but, like, now that we're here together... Could and you I'm sum it costume, up? Why don't you just give me your whole, the details of your, of your whole life? And he's like, no! Also, stop making jokes. And he's like, no, this I won't. It's not funny! Yeah, but he's not even doing that. It's not even like, he's like, stop it, okay? Nothing's funny! I'm an edgelord! Like, no, none of that. No? And like Ben reveals, not only has he invented impact webbing and mm. stingers, uh, these are things that Ben does invent when he's Scarlet Spider. These are just ver variants on Spider-Man's webbing. The yeah. impact webbing is like a ball that like explodes on impact and yeah. envelops their their target. I remember from the game, it's yeah. very useful. Yeah, I, I presume that in this continuity, he's inspired by the bio bombs. Oh. Um, the stingers, however, are like sharp and like could hurt you or like stun you or actually like tranquilize you or what? kill you. Yeah, it's just a thing. I don't know. So Kane frees himself in the impact webbing and then Ben shoots him with stingers. And Kane's like, oh crap, like I was gonna bid a hasty retreat, but now I've been stung. I've been stung by the spider. Yeah, but then spiders he... don't really sting. No, they, they, they bite. Do. They, they, bite they bite with, with venom. You know, that could be a sting. Anyway, yeah. so <laughs> Kane hits him with a fire hydrant and then just leaves. He hits him with the fire. Oh, the water. The from water the from the fire. He breaks the yeah. fire out, just sprays him, and then he leaves. Who was he, Electro? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so Ben goes to work. He works at the Daily Grind, which I think is in continuity originally. But Aunt May hasn't gotten any better. Oh, you no. Know, Aunt May's still in that coma. Yeah, that's right. And uh, the doctors have determined that she's not sick from, like, being old and stuff like she <laughs> was in the Clone Saga. But instead, she is dying from, like, a genetic disorder. What? Oh, if only we could clone her without the genetic no, not, disorder. they're not doing yeah. that. Yeah, we'll, we'll clone her without that, that problem. No, uh, she has been infected by a genetic virus that is attacking her and, and making her sick. And then Mary Jane faints, and they check her out, and they find that she also is, is dying from the same genetic disorder. Uh, Spider-Man determines that th this is a targeted attack. Someone who knows who he is has deliberately attacked Aunt May and oh. Mary Jane, and they're both dying from this thing. It's like an infection that only affects them. Yes, like it's genetically predisposed it. to affecting those people. Uh, yeah, okay. the people that Peter Parker loves. Yes. yes. Clearly someone knows who he is and yes, going after him. Yes, exactly. So I was I was gonna make the joke that it was that uh, Peter's like killer semen. Yes, his radioactive like, spider come. No, but that means he fucking me! <laughs> One of the other elements of like the clone saga was that Cain was tormented by visions of Mary Jane being killed, and that was a thing. A thing. Cain was. Yeah, Cain had like psychic visions. He's like, Mary Jane, no. Okay, that sounds. So he's getting those too. Yeah. Okay. We're just picking and choosing random yeah. shit. Well, now you know why, because she's got the genetic yes. virus. Did she didn't have the genetic virus? The she first did time, not. Right? It's so called a baby. Makes more sense then. <laughs> <laughs> so Kane is like, oh no, Mary Jane is affected. No, Aunt May was supposed to be the target. Now you've picked like Mary oh. Jane. So he calls, you know, his clandestine uh, you know, benefactor and he's like, what have you done? And he's like, oh, like I decided that it would actually be more appropriate if it affected both of the women in his life that he cared about. Mm, I'm altering it, the deal. It all, yeah, it, it, may, it gives him more incentive to like listen to me when I ultimately reveal who I am and then, you know. Right. When I finish my nefarious scheme exactly like It'll you say i've altered the deal pray i don't alter yeah. it anymore. and of course kane is like well i'm not you're not the only one who can change the rules <laughs> right yeah what are you gonna do kane i'm gonna uh, help them later. brood some more like literally the way he changes the rules is by teaming up with the other spider guys right i've been fighting you the whole time uh, i'm not gonna do that anymore yeah they crossed a line right you were gonna kill his geriatric aunt yeah but now you're gonna kill his hot supermodel wife and it's not okay and i'm picking and gonna... choosing which 
Peter Parker characters I also will care about right. as his clone. Because I hate Ben Riley. I like Peter. But I hate Aunt May or don't care about Aunt May, but I do like Mary, Mary Jane. Because Jane, she's hot. Right. I don't, I don't really know Aunt May. No. <laughs> Everyone made fun of Scarlet Spider for having a dumb name and his costume because it's a hoodie with torn sleeves. I mean, it is and pretty lazy. Pouches. It's yeah. pretty silly. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I wear this when I go to the gym. Yeah. The problem is, today, people love this costume mm -hmm. and think it's friggin' awesome to the point where it's in the video game. Yeah. Like, people love that okay, suit. Okay, like every costume was in the video game. It, it was not. <laughs> the Captain Universe suit was not in the video game. But, anyway, they're, they, it, it, pay attention, man. They like the suit now. Like, this is for no one. You know, you, you, you ragging on the suit. Except that, like, Peter likes to, like, rib his, 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 his yeah. identical brother. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, he would. Right. You know, because it is objectively dumb. Right. <laughs> Even though people like it now, Peter it knows. Yeah, he has Peter, discerning taste. It's true. But uh, they, they determine, okay, well, we got to track down Cain because Cain must be responsible for Aunt May and Mary Jane's affliction. How do we find him? And then Cain shows up and he's like, ta-da. There's only six issues. I have to. Right. I have to show up. You found me. Yeah. Uh, no time. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so he, he. So they fight. He identifies them both. He's like Riley Parker. We need to talk. And they're like, How did he know our names? How oh, does no. he know who we are? Let's get him. So then he gives chase. Right. And so Kane like literally just like runs around rooftops. They chase him down. Uh, Peter like is more aggressive and you know mm. on the edge despite all of his quips and witticisms that he makes throughout this whole scene. And then suddenly he's like really like irrationally violent towards Kane. And Ben's like, whoa, 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 dude. Like, you know, good cop, bad cop, chill out. Right. So Kane's like, listen, I know who did this and I can get you the antidote. Let's go. You said to beat me up a little bit. Yeah. So Kane- I couldn't just, just explain to this to you on no the rooftop reason. when I saw you. Well, yeah. Chase me. Literally that. Ar earn the answer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so Kane, Spider-Man, and Scarlet Spider, like, leave. Kane leads them to, like, a, a secret factory or warehouse or whatever. And under yeah, so a lair. Kane leads them to a lair. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they get attacked by more, like, uh, goop. It's like the bio bombs, oh, but it's black. But it's, now it's black. Okay, no, now it's, it's not definitely, symbiotes. Now it's definitely a symbiote. Yeah, it's still not symbiotes. No? Yep. There's no symbiotes. Yeah. This is after Venom, right? Oh, long after. Yeah. So, like, you could have made it symbiotes, but they don't. Yeah. It, it's living protoplasm, according to Kane. Oh. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, Peter, of course, gets enveloped in more goop. Yeah. Because that's what he does in this book for some <laughs> no, reason. No, not the goop. smokestack again! And, uh, yeah, uh, uh, you know, Ben is going to save him. And he's like, you got to say it, Pete. You got to say it. And Pete's like... Help me, Scarlet Spider, you're my only hope. But he's like, okay, now I'll help you. Like, you use the name in earnest. So here we go. So then Ben gets start, starts to get enveloped. Kane pulls out, like, a like an electrical wire. And he's like, this is the only way to stop it. And it'll hurt you both, which I want to do because you're both annoying. And he zaps them with the, you know, with the electrical current. It kills the, the, goop. the, the, the goop. There, you're both lame. It's weak to electricity. The other goop was weak to fire. This yeah. Was yeah, it lead to electricity. So then Kane leads them into a big grand uh, warehouse filled with, if you're a fan of the, of the Clone Saga, you know, cloning pods. Mm. There's like hundreds of them. Wow. It's a giant cloning pod factory. Yeah. It's a, it's a, big, it's a big operation. Someone's, someone's, someone's cooking up. Cooking up clones. Cooking the up elves are hard at work. And wouldn't Inside you know the it, Keebler tree. here's one, and it's, just, it's the jackal. And he's like, aha. Nah. And I love it because... He looks like the Jackal from the Clone Saga, which is, we thought Miles Warren died in the original, original Clone Saga. It turns out he put himself into, like, a genetic manipulation chamber and made himself physically, actually a green Jackal monster. No, man. he's a goblin. He's a goblin. He yeah. looks just like a goblin, but he looks like a Jackal, according to the people who make this book. And, uh... They don't even question it. In the original one, he's like, it's me! And they're like, Miles Warren's dead and you look like a friggin' monster. And he's like, yeah, no, 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 no. I changed my whole genetic structure and now I look like this all the time. Ha ha. And I wear this Because I'm cool. Yeah, because I'm cool. Look at my leather jacket. And uh, we're going to skip all that and just have him be there and wear the jacket. And they're like, yeah, okay, cool. They're like, right, Miles Warren, got, got it. it. You were always you a You always looked like this. 
It wouldn't be confounding to anyone who hasn't seen you since the 70s, or I'm sorry, it's five years uh, ago. Six issues, all right? We yeah. got a... We, we got time to invent goop and shit, but we don't got time to have the characters react r realistically. Yeah, I can't even explain it. Now, now, Jackal had a plot in the original Clone Saga that took a long time to get to mm. and was ultimately horribly disappointing when it was revealed. The revelation was he wanted to kill everyone on the planet and replace them with clones. Because he's was... just obsessed with clones for no reason. Yes. The, yes. the clones that die if they don't get a specific pill, right? No, that's the clone conspiracy, and that's and that's in the future. Okay, but, but they do ben die, Riley, though, the jackal. right? They, well, no, that, well, see, that's the thing, is that they, they are genetically inferior, yeah. and, and they, they have a degenerative out. disease, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, unlike, why would you want to replace everyone with <laughs> Well, the reason why he needed Ben and Peter is because... Peter's genetic structure will be the baseline or the foundation right. for this new crop. Right, they and, won't degrade. And Ben was the perfect clone. Right. So he will use Ben as like a stabilization agent so that he will have perfect clones henceforth. Right. Does he think clones are better? Are clones somehow like I think he likes like to be able resistance? to control them. Yeah, because he controls the clones, right? Yeah. He can make them... He doesn't control Ben Riley. No, well, but but he but yeah, yeah. He, but I'm just taking but he, the stabilization agent that makes you not degenerate. I'm not like using your will or your indomitable spirit. <laughs> so he hatches hundreds of Peter Parker clones. They're all kind of like mindless. They just do simple tasks. They don't have personality or anything. Right. He they don't have the memories. In there. Yeah. Wait, so they're not quipping either? They're not. Oh, what a missed what a missed opportunity. opportunity. He's buried in quips. Yeah, but we do get like maximum clonage out of this. Oh. So. Anyway, they're all uh, revealed. Jackal has like hundreds of costumes made for them. Who has blonde hair? Ben. When he Ben didn't... first came on the scene, he dyed his hair blonde to differentiate so between you can himself tell him and Peter Parker. Oh, afterwards. No, no, no. He always did that. Yeah. Anyway, Jackal reveals his plan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna replace the world with clones. Your clones. You both are going to be the, the templates for the new batch. So Peter's like, I don't care about that. I just want to know what you've done with Mary Jane and Aunt May and fix them. And he's like, who cares? What? I'm, I'm going to kill everybody. Clone. Right. You'll be fine. Yeah, he's like, who cares? Like, who, who literally cares? <laughs> I'll clone them together. He, he, the point of the whole sequence is so that he could extract their right. blood or whatever, infuse it into the clones that he's made to make them stable. Yeah. Uh, he also, of course, reveals that like he's going to uh, use them to stabilize his Gwen Stacy clone. Oh, right. look at her. Look at how there naked she is. Yeah. Oh. How come none of like, the Peter Parkers were that naked when they came out? I don't want to see they, that. They were. Uh, it's just that he, they, you know, there was more smoke and he had costumes readily available for oh, them. Okay. So they just immediately jumped into a costume. That's right. Yeah. Literally, the, no, no. One of them like rolls a whole rack of costumes <laughs> And like passes them yeah, out. Yeah, he's prepared. Yeah. yeah, I got a whole like you know textiles company too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a very what, about, large... what about Gwen Stacy clothes? Imagine. Who needs that? Uh, but anyway, he's like, I'm gonna wake her up when I have the stabilization from your genetic material. And then Kane's like, This has gone far enough. It's gross and terrible. You can't just keep making Gwen clones and having them melt and stuff. That would be vulgar. Right. And it was. <laughs> Uh, so yeah. Kane frees himself, you know, with the strength of ten men, and he frees Ben and and, and Peter. I, I freed myself with the strength of veins. Yeah, with my with my mark of veins. So then they all fight like all the all the spider clones. Right. There's yeah. no Three way on, that like, they should be able to win mm -hmm. because no, they're clones. Well, they're overwhelmed, and as they're attacked, you know, uh, what's it called? Jackal infuses his. Uh, his concoction that he's made because he extracts their 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 blood. No, he got the blood. He got the blood. Oh. He, as he as he gives the context for everything. Right. He does all of the legwork. Like see. extracts their blood, puts it into a thing. It makes a green mist. He puts it into there. You know, and then he and then he infuses it. Turns out it's like a twenty second process. Yeah, yeah. It's really fast once you're once you got like the whole yeah. the whole science. Well, I down. did everything ahead of time. Yeah, I did all that. I just wanted you know the suits. You're the last step. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So they're fighting the clones, but then the clones all degenerate. Right, because. That's what they do. Yeah, and Jackal's like, that's not possible. I took the foundation and the stabilization. <gasps> that must mean that Ben is the real one and Peter's the clone, because we gotta do that big switcheroo. Okay, let me ask you a question. When you extracted my stabilization or mm -hmm. his foundation, what did you take? Was it blood? Yeah. You just mixed our blood together. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. So what difference does it no, no, fucking no. make? No, no, he used one blood mm -hmm. to do one specific procedure yes. and then the other one to do a different procedure. Yes. See, I thought he, he probably mixed, mixed it together. with other stuff. It certainly looks like it, but he basically just he he just puts it all together. Like it, it, oh. they don't really spend a lot of time on it. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I took your blood and mixed it first with this one. I should have taken that blood yeah. first. Yeah, cuz that makes it. The difference. order changes it. The so what? He's is. already released it. He made it, and, and how did it get into them? Right. Because they're walking around. <laughs> like, yeah, that was the batch yeah. that got born. <laughs> right, like, he could have released it into, like, the, the, the HVAC system or something, but, like, I get it. it's, it's not very clear. Right. Maybe they all have little tubes running back to their clone chambers. You can't see it, yeah. but as they're fighting, they're still connected. Oh, yeah. They must yeah, have a lot of slack cords. because they're jumping and stuff. And he just squirts it into all of them and then... And they degenerate. Yeah. So anyway, I uh, thought they were degenerating because like they were going to anyway because they didn't. They were made before he had. Yeah, they were yeah. rushed. And no, the time like, ran out. Look, it was like thirty seconds. They're all. Yeah. It, it, ben goes. Looks like this jackal stabilization agent doesn't work as advertised. Huh. And jackal's like, okay. but that that should not be. <laughs> so okay. then, uh, uh, Ben and Peter like are oh, attacked good. by by sentient versions of the protoplasm. And you're telling me these are uh, not symbiotes. They're not symbiotes. Because the clones are. Because they really look like they're symbiotes right I now. I know, and they should Jackal be. Is Jackal making the protoplasm? Where the sh where's the shit coming from? It's just coming out of tubes. <laughs> Does he explain? Oh, I also made a protoplasm. Well, clones We know he made living. it because he's using them. Yes, but like, what is it? <laughs> yeah, but like, protoplasm. what is it, man? <laughs> so anyway, uh, he... Ah, so, uh, so Peter and, and Ben like leave to fight the protoplasms. Yeah. Uh, and Jackal like mourns. Gwen, he's like, I won't rest until I've I've resurrected you. And then Kane's like, Hey, Jackal, blah, and he grabs him and he mark of Kane's face. Oh, yeah, he uses the mark of Kane, yeah. And he's like, No, oh, my beautiful face. My beautiful I was so face. green and and pointy before. <laughs> yeah. So then Kane like snaps his neck. He's like, Fuck this guy. Oh, oh. I wanted you to be marked before I killed you. <laughs> yeah. I wanted you to think like, That's Oh cold, no, what am man. I gonna do? I'm so gross now. Oh, and then I die. <laughs> So you thought because I marked you, I wasn't gonna also kill you. Yeah, but give you did. that little bit of hope, yeah. and then I took it away. <laughs> that's that's my cane mark. That's right. That's the mark of cane. Everyone's like, that's that's pretty messed up. <laughs> ben and Peter, of course, outraged. Yeah, like what do you? I'm a bad guy. What do you want? Yeah. Uh, oh, well, I've been trying to kill you this whole time. Why am I not gonna kill the friggin' jackal? That's right. Well, also, if we don't kill the jackal, then the jackal will continue to be a problem for the next like three issues, and we can't do that. Uh, he just will not stop. He won't, and he and he does until it. Until he bangs the Gwen clone. That's right. Well, he he's constantly doing that. It's just <laughs> he just keeps inserting himself into the clone saga throughout. Like he he has no bearing on it by the end, but he just he just keeps showing up. It's like you you guys you don't understand. He will just be in every issue. That's until right. We're yeah, done. Kane's like Kane's like the kid, like the narrator. Like listen, <laughs> it won't end. You don't know this, but you're welcome. Uh, I I love the concept <laughs> that if you. So say the jackal just like kept making Gwen clones. Right. Yeah. Which he does. Exactly. Because they degenerate, so he's got to keep making them. Uh huh. At some point, he'd just be like, you know what? I don't care about Peter Parker. I don't yeah. care about his life. Yeah, what? What? What are you doing? His clones are bad. Yet. Right. Exactly. Well, I guess. I guess like. I get. I get angry to a moment. Yeah. And then like I bang a clone, and then like My I head forget clears. About it. I, I guess, take a nap. I, I think the. I think if you want to get like kind of psychological about it. He's angry because Peter let the real Gwen die and no amount of fakery will bring her back. And he's just, the, the expression of making Gwen clones is just like this, this exercise in futility. Mm. And he's just like, no matter how many Gwens I bang, <laughs> it won't be the real Gwen. It will always be a shadow puppet. It'll never be the, like, right. I'll never actually get my rocks off to yeah. real Ben. I'll never get to rape Gwen. my student. <laughs> yeah, I'll never get to sexually molest my fucking college student. Right. Like, oh no. While Jackal was like explaining the cloning process, he also revealed he had the, he had the cure. He's like, I have the cure to this tube. Oh, oh, oh. The cure to this little glass oh, tube that could break any time. Yeah. To Aunt May and, and Mary uh, Jane. Okay. Yeah, but what is it? Oh, what, it, what do they attack with? Well, uh, genetic stuff. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, this will fix it. It's DNA and yeah. so forth. It attacks their specific DNA, but this one tube will fix both of them. So even though uh, their DNA is different. That's right. Great. So uh, Kane kills Jackal. Peter and Ben are gonna try and stop him. Kane's like, "You can't do that because I got the cure. Go get it!" And he throws it like ah. So they jump over themselves. They catch it, and Kane's gone. And so they leave. And when they leave, the whole facility explodes. So we don't have to deal with that anymore. Let me Yay. let me get this straight. <laughs> There's two of them. Yeah. 
There's one vial. Yeah, they both jump to catch it. And they both have web shooters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And neither of them stopped Kane. I, they were just reminded of Gwen again. The last time that Peter saw Gwen, he used his web shooters to save her, and he snapped her neck. <laughs> yeah. So I won't use my web shooters, because I might snap this I might snap vial's the vial's neck. neck. Yeah, maybe. Well, or shatter the vial. I don't know. Right. Uh, also, like, they can't split up tasks, because no. they're both trying to, to, trying to, to save... It. Uh, Aunt May. Yeah. And I, I guess Mary Jane too, but sure. Ben really wants to save Aunt May. Yeah, exactly. So like... Well, like, Ben's trying I'm to save Aunt May. I'm going for the vial. No, I'm going for the vial. Mary like, Jane's trying... Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Anyway, so they catch the vial, they cure it, Aunt May. Aunt May wakes up and everyone's there, like, Yay. Peter, Ben, Mary Jane, and she's like, who the hell are you? And he's like, oh, I'm a cousin. And she's like, okie dokie. Sure. She doesn't go, like, you look just, just like Peter. Like Peter. Like, but with blonde hair. Look just like him. Like, not like in any... <laughs> there's no differentiation between the two of you, but the hair. And you sound like him, too. Yeah, and you sound just like him, too. Are you the person that's been calling me this entire time? <laughs> right? How did I not put together that, that was Peter's voice? Oh, my God. Yeah. Aunt May is just happy that we're all together, because at the end of the day, it is all about family. <laughs> she literally oh, great. says it's, it's all about family. Furious. <laughs> Yep, or Star Wars. <laughs> so, uh, Peter and Mary Jane go home. They are, like, pleased that they're going to have a family. Hmm. Uh, and then Peter turns to Ben and he's like, you can be Spider-Man, I'm going to retire. But if you need me to, like, pitch it or anything, let me know. I'm right. not wearing the Scarlet Spider uniform, though. No. Right. So then... There'll be two like, spider man Peter gives be. Ben the Spider-Man costume. Ben becomes Spider-Man for... A, a bit of time. Right. For two issues or whatever yes. is left. But what about Kane? Kane's what about out Kane? there. Well, Kane watches Ben triumphantly swing towards the, the viewer as Spider-Man, and he tells his mysterious benefactor, who was not the Jackal, what? that he did manipulate Ben and Peter into going to the Jackal's facility, giving up their genetic material so that Jackal could invent the stabilization agent, and now Kane has the stabilization agent that he will give to his benefactor, and the Jackal's no longer a factor. Uh, okay, he didn't He didn't get them to give up their genetic material willingly. He, no. They were strapped to freaking yeah, tables. Yeah, he tricked yeah, them yeah. into going to, to the uh, Jackal's facility. Right, and getting strapped to those tables. That's this right. is all part of the plan. That's right. So it's, so it's snapping the Jackal's neck. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he had to dispose of him because Jackal was working with this guy too, right? Yes. Because he was the one who gave the virus or That's whatever right. to, to Aunt May and Mary Jane, and now his his purpose has been served. That's right. They don't need him anymore. It's clean up loose ends. Precisely. So yeah. when the guy in the chair said, I've infected Aunt May and, and Mary Jane. He meant I hired a guy who infected Yeah, he hired the jackal to do that. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you didn't know that until this very moment. No. You thought it was the jackal the whole time. Yes. Right. Turns out it's this guy. Uh-huh. And we see, like, oh no, this is this mysterious character. Oh, it's not over. And, look, and he's not green. No, and mm. they have a, uh, they have a, they have oh, a, a, clone a, a clone pod. A single clone oh, pod. Ho, ho, ho. Who's he cloning? Who's he cloning? Who's he cloning in that clone pod? <laughs> Who's in the clone pod? So some time has passed. Hmm. Probably some months. Hmm. Because the baby isn't born yet. Right. Oh, so, we're still getting impact webbing and stingers. Oh, totally. Well, yeah, because now ben this is, is new Spider-Man. Spider yeah. And he's wearing the sensational Spider-Man suit. Which one is that? It's the one you're seeing. It's just a variant on the original Spider-Man costume. Oh, what's different about it? Uh, quite it's a bit, actually. It's it's more blue. Uh, uh, there's, I was going to say maybe blue, but like I you can, Here's Spider-Man's costume. Okay. And here's the sensational suit. Yeah. Okay. Cool. The web shooter's on the outside. Mm. The spider's bigger. It goes up his shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that. Uh, a lot of people really responded to it. This is also not in the video game. So Spider-Man's fighting Doc Ock. Hey, Doc ah. Ock. I know him. And Doc Ock has this special case and he's trying to get it to something else and so doc ock destroys the lab uh, that he's in uh, caves in the roof by the time peter retires and gives the mantle to ben because they both think they're the other right uh aunt may has died and peter and mary jane move to oregon yeah to work at a lab uh, because aunt may is not dead they just move into forest hills with aunt may so they're nearby i mean i will say not having Aunt May actually die mm -hmm. is a step up. Yeah. Because she doesn't die. Right. So, like, why even do that? So right. this does sort of clean that up. It so, does. No, no, she didn't actually die. Yep. Doc Ock was working for Kane. Doc was... Ock is working for Kane. Yes. No. 
<laughs> Don't worry, they, Doc Doc's gonna double cross him. Sure. Good. Okay. Doc Ock used to be the master planner. He right. he knows how to do this. Doc Ock is like working on science that Kane can't do, uh-huh. and Kane is giving Doc Ock like the Jackal's notes to continue his research, but not like all of the notes. You know, just just the right. notes to get him to certain points. <laughs> Doc Ock's like, uh, I build arms and stuff. I don't know about clones. That's a totally different branch of science. That's right. I'll make- Robotic I'm in, clones! Yeah, I'm in cybernetics. <laughs> so no, you're, you're a nerd. You can make this shit. It's like, you're Peter Parker, you asshole! <laughs> you're just a bunch of a nerd as he is. <laughs> no, no, I'm Kane. No. Totally different. So Ben, naturally, he puts together, like, there's, like, a pattern to Doc Ock's thefts. And so he's, like, he preempts where Doc Ock's mm. going to be next. He gets there. He, he, he... he Corners Doc they Ock. Fight. They fight. Um, and uh, and then uh, Doc Ock gets the upper hand and he leaves with the material he needs. Doc Ock beats him? Yeah. Well, he... Well, he Kane, beat him last time. Ben is kind of new to this. Not very good at this. Yeah. Yeah. And he hasn't fought Doc Ock in a long time. Right. So Doc Ock has cracked Jackal's stabilization agent so that it's, like, perfect. Okay. And he will give it to Kane... When Kane, when Kane gives Doc Ock all the notes, because he wants to like, he wants to discover immortality, and he thinks the Jackal knew. I mean, cloning yourself and having it well, work. And this was written in like 2014 or whatever, so the clone conspiracy slash Superior Spider-Man had already happened. So this is a Doc Ock that the writers know is interested in eventually becoming the Superior Spider-Man or some variant thereof. Uh-huh. He's at least interested in like living longer than his original lifespan. Right. So it makes sense within the context that okay. is new that you're reading it in. Right. All right. Incidentally, Doc Ock does play a key role in the original Clone Saga in that Kane murders him. <laughs> That's what happened in the original one. Yeah, in the original Clone Saga, they're like, ah, Doc Ock's old and lame. Who cares? We got Kane now. <laughs> and we, and, and new, the new hotness. That's right. And, and also we have female new Doc Ock. So get out of here, Old, cruddy, fat Doc Ock, you're lame. <laughs> but, uh, so Kane attacks Doc Ock, and he's basically like, you finished the job, so now I can kill you. Right. Like, you know, you idiot. Way to friggin' double-cross me. Who didn't see that coming? So, uh, Kane's gonna give him the mark of Kane. It's nothing worse than Before character... his neck. That's right. That's his move. Uh, there's nothing worse than a character naming their own move and then saying they're going to do it on people. Yeah. I'm gonna give you. The... But he also does it's offer. Like he's a professional wrestler. That's right. Oh no! You're gonna get the mark of Kane. <laughs> yeah, but oh, no. just he's got the... a mark of Kane. Him. No. That's his finishing move. DDT. Oh, 316. <laughs> Kane 316. <laughs> yeah, but wouldn't he just be like, "I'm gonna give you the mark of me"? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's great? No, because is... the mark of Kane is a thing. It's a play on the biblical he, thing. Yeah. He literally goes, yeah. "I'm gonna grant you mercy by snapping your neck, and then I'm gonna give you the mark of Kane." <laughs> and I'm like, "Who cares?" <laughs> Who cares if he's going to get the mark of Kane afterwards? Well, that way, like, that's my signature. That way, yeah. no, Kane killed him. Ah. So anyways, Kane was here. Yeah, who found the jackal's body? Nobody, nobody had burned, incinerated. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I'll know that I gave him the mark of Kane. Yeah. So, Spider-Man Here's the thing. I'm not going to be able to finish myself off tonight unless I know I gave him the mark of Kane. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely... Look, I'm never going to not give them the mark of Kane. But there's always a question of whether I'll snap their neck to. Right. So, and sp- in what order. Except I think we've established the mark of Kane is the one-two punch of the physical face malformation and also... Yeah. Snapping the neck. Two sides of the same coin. Yeah. The, yeah. the whole thing is the mark of Kane. So, so is Kane in this so that he can clone himself without the mark no, of Kane? No, no, he's not. Uh, yeah, well, that'd be, <laughs> actually, be smart. That'd, that'd be, be a, a fun thing. twist, yeah. but it's not. So uh, Spider-Man but the, shows but, up. But a clone of him without the mark of Kane is, is just it's Ben Riley. just those other two guys. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> so Ben so, shows up and he fights Kane and he stops Kane from killing Doc Ock. Uh, so Spider-Man's gonna, like, impact webbing Kane. Kane hmm. grabs Doc and puts him in the way. <laughs> And so, uh, the webbing snaps Doc's neck. The, we- the webbing just just covers his face. Okay. And he's like, "You got to take it off, or he won't be able to breathe." So I- I'm gonna take this stuff that Doc Ock was working on, finish up my my machinations while you go save Doc Ock. Bye. That's Bye. my move. This is also the Mark of Kane because it's like another one of his moves. <laughs> Blowing Jesus ass Christ. and then leaving. Yeah. So <laughs> Spider Man saves Doc Ock, and Doc Ock says, "Like, why did you save me?" And Spider Man says, "Because I'm Spider Man." It's like, oh, we're establishing Ben Riley is Spider-Man. Don't worry, that'll change soon. So, <laughs> not for long. <laughs> not anymore, he's not. That's right. So, uh, 
Kane is like, I got the stuff. The benefactor's like, wonderful. And then we reveal that the person inside the cloning pod is none other than Norman Osborn. Oh no. Dun, oh dun, no. Dun. So. So some time has passed. We skip ahead a little bit. Okay. Uh, I like this kind of framing device. It's cute. It's a classic DeFalco kind of thing. Uh, Peter and Ben are surrounded by like mechanic you know, pipes and tubes and stuff, and they're like, it's impossible, we'll never make it! And it's like, no, we gotta pull together and do this! They're building a baby swing. Yeah. <laughs> it's very, uh, movie or TV show-esque. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But it's cute, the two of them working together to try and build this stupid baby swing. Mary Jane's out with Aunt May. We're scientists and we can't put this together! Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Between the two of them, we have, like, three doctorates. So, uh, Mary Jane's water breaks, she goes into labor, uh, both Spider-Man swing into action to go get there. They reveal Alison Mongrain, who is... <sighs> evil? Evil, as you can see from her drawing. But she's <laughs> also... She worked for Norman Osborn to steal baby Mae Parker in the original Clone Saga. Even oh. though, like, uh, you know, whatever. It's, it's nebulous as to well, whether or not right. she that's did that. That still is going to happen, right? Right, there's the whole, like, kidnapping oh. of the baby. But Norman is a clone now. Right. He's over there. That's different. That's different. Yeah. Uh, but she, the, the, but the woman who is present at the birth of baby May, who kidnaps the baby, is now here. And you, as the reader of either Spider Girl or the Clone Saga, are like, oh no. Right. Oh no, baby stealer. Yes. So. Oh yeah! So Spider-Man and Ben are swinging on through when they find that Kane is in a berserker rage just attacking people. And they're like, what are, you, what are you doing here, Kane? He's like, oh, good, you're here. I've been trying to lure you here the whole time. Right. So uh, they attack Kane. Kane attacks the police. He throws a car at them. They stop the car together because it's established in this book that one Spider-Man cannot stop a single car. So they, they, they stop the car. Uh, and is everyone like, we're two Spider-Man? No. I guess because they've seen it a lot over the last, like, six months. <laughs> so, uh, you know, Ben and Peter are like, okay, what do we do? And Ben's like, I'll go after Kane. You go to your wife who is in labor <laughs> right. and be present at the birth. Oh, right. Okay. So Thanks, Ben. Yeah. So Peter, like, he swings over to the hospital. He puts on his Peter Parker costume, but he <laughs> ends up at the, at the birth just in time to watch baby May be born. Oh, how uncharacteristic. I know. So May is born. Allison's like, I'll go clean up the baby. And she takes the baby and she leaves and she takes off her fake yeah. hospital badge she and then she disappears. The, 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 the doctor... Is like, I don't get it. Why would someone steal a baby? You ever have been around those things for more than two minutes? They're friggin' they scream and they crap themselves. It's horrible. No, I'm just kidding. They're just, but basically, you know, like Mary Jane and Aunt May and Peter and Ben are all like, how could you lose a baby? <laughs> so, no. cameras, right? Yeah. So, nah. Spider Man and Ben like team up and they search the city looking for them. Meanwhile, in the clandestine area, like on the waterfront, on like a, a you know a rickety pier, Allison delivers the baby. Originally, in the original like wrap up, Allison delivers the baby to Norman, and it's not really the baby or whatever. Right. Uh, it, it is, but then like they were like, but oh then, no, baby. But then it's not. Then it's not. Yeah. In this, Allison delivers the baby to Kane. Oh. And they're like, okay, you've got the baby. If all does not go according to plan, kill the baby. And he's like, okay. I'm definitely not going to kill this baby. Right. So, then our mysterious benefactor wakes up Norman Osborn from his cloning pod. He gives him the agent he needs. The stabilization agent. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, and then he gives him his Green Goblin costume, and he's like, you got to be Green Goblin. So I was able to clone you with the Goblin serum already in you. Mu yeah. Yeah. But I couldn't stabilize you. No. Right. It's two different things. Yeah. It's goblin formula. That, that's, a, that's a goblin thing. Goblin. It's a jackal thing. Goblin stuff's easy. So Green Goblin attacks Spider-Man. He's like, I'm the Green Goblin, bitch. I'm back. I'm and Spider-Man's like, okay, that's fucking weird. You know? Oh no, bio bombs. Oh, These are green like versions of his new and then eventually abandoned goblin accessory in the original Clone Saga when it's revealed that Norman Osborn had been alive the whole time and manipulating everything from, from, from Europe. Right. He reveals, not only do I have pumpkin bombs, but I also have ghost bombs. And they look like adorable little ghosts. They were white. And when they hit you, they exploded into, like, in, in, into smoke. Oh. That was it. <laughs> uh, 
I, I loved them. It's very confusing. I, I loved those ghost bombs because <laughs> it just reinforced the Halloween motif of Green Goblin. Like, I'm a goblin. I have jack-o'-lanterns and ghosties and razor bats. And so yeah, it's like, once in a while, I'll, I'll throw bats at you out of my right. purse. I'm like, what the hell? You're like, you're like one bowl of milk away from being a breakfast cereal. It's all about branding. <laughs> I'm never gonna get the deal unless I have the whole thing. Like, what? What oh is the brand? God. Is the brand like? What are you selling? <laughs> I'm a Halloween incarnate. Like, what? <laughs> nothing about goblin says bombs, pumpkin spats. It's a go, flavor bomb oh, in your go- mouth. A <laughs> goblin is like goblin a cereal. It's yeah. like a hideous character. Like you might dress up as. Right. Like I'm wearing a costume. Or maybe Halloween is like when goblins and, go- and oh, ghosts yeah, and ghoulies, ghoulies and yeah, attack. yeah. It's like what? But yeah, goblinos come into a. <laughs> Grocer near you. So uh, but these aren't ghost bombs. Well, they they look like ghost bombs. No, they are. They ghost. are ghost bombs, they're just, but they're green. Yeah. So oh, they look gourd bombs. Yeah, but they look. <laughs> yeah. They look like the bio bombs, but they're not. They're just ghosties. It's just they forgot they were white. Ah. Uh, so now ghosties. they're green. <laughs> So, anyway, uh, Green Goblin gets the upper hand on Ben, and he, like, stabs him in the back with his goblin glider. In the original Clone Saga... I don't remember. uh, Norman Osborn becomes Green Goblin again. He beats the hell out of Ben. He lures Peter. He reveals, no, Peter, you were the real one. Ben's the clone. Uh, He then cuts to the end. Uh, Peter is going to be stabbed in the back by the goblin glider, but Ben jumps out of the way, jumps uh, in the way, right. and, and, and takes it for Peter. Right, okay. So, Goblin's move of stabbing you from the back with his goblin glider is actually on brand. Yeah, okay. So he stabs Ben, and then he, like, chains him up, and he just beats the hell out of him. Even though he already stabbed him. He should be dead. Oh, yeah. He yeah, stabbed but... him in the back with a huge friggin' blade. Yeah, but he, he missed vital organs, oh. because he's also, like, a doctor or whatever. I see. I missed all the vital organs, even though this impaled you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it went right between his kidneys. Yep. I, I have I have a or hit one kidney, just, but you, you only, don't forget you spider kidneys, strength so. and healing factor. Yeah, the healing factor is taken care of. So uh, he just he just slaps Ben around. He talks about how he's a pretender. Ben's like, ah, I got news for you on the real one. He's like, I got news for you. You're actually not. Uh, <laughs> what? Wait. He. Ben thinks he's the real one in this. Yeah, because remember, Jackal's like, oh, wait a minute, no, like the my clones destabilized because I thought Ben was the clone and Peter oh, was the real right, one, but right. I, I switched the I samples. I forgot that was mentioned, yeah. So, okay, so that that is the same. Mm-hmm. Like, they switch roles where he has Ben go out and be Spider-Man yes. because he actually thinks he is. Yes. Right. Okay. Which is which is still the same thing. That yeah, happened. yeah. Okay. So Peter dresses as Spider-Man. He's looking for Ben. Or you mean Ben's looking for Peter. Well, Peter is still Peter. Except it's now the, it's yeah. not because he just said that. The guy <laughs> that we've been calling Peter for 100 years is, is, is Spider-Man. And, okay. he's, and he's looking for Ben. Yeah. Goblin is slapping the hell out of Ben. And then he reveals, I'm actually Harry Osborn. Oh. What? Yeah. That Harry was the mysterious benefactor the whole time. We thought it was Norman because of the Norman clone. But who was making the Norman clone? Well was Harry, that Harry didn't die in Spectacular 200, that actually he was manipulating everything from the beginning, and we've established that because he is a manipulator. That's what so, he did with the parents, and he's doing it with this too. So the Green Goblin this entire time was Harry? Yes. And he cloned his dad, but yes. not to put him in the Goblin costume. No. Just to be like, look at this, you can't have it! Yeah. Well, like, you will be Green Goblin eventually, or whatever, I don't know. When I'm <laughs> done with it! Yeah. yeah. Well, I gotta be Green Goblin, because... Harry was was one of the ideas about being the mastermind behind the Clone Saga. Uh. They established a character in the original Clone Saga named Gaunt, who was stupid and complicated looking. And he had like a respirator on, and they wanted to be like, he's actually Harry. And the, like the goblin formula, like, t- like, you know, it didn't kill him, but it messed him up, and he's like, he's fallen apart, he's got to wear this stupid costume. Right. Then editorial's like, no. Harry died. Leave it alone. So they're like, okay. Uh, then I guess he's Mendelstrom or something. <laughs> I'll just make up a name. No, Mendelstrom was the oh. robot master. Oh, and he so, was a thing. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, it's like, well, he's got he's got kind of machinery on him. We'll make it the over the robot guy. I nobody still cares. Like this, I'm still like yeah, this nobody cares. Yeah, well, we're not gonna get rid of we're not gonna get rid of Gaunt. We just made a really great action figure out of him. I don't think there is a Gaunt action figure. So why? Is he going to reveal why he cloned his dad? Oh, because he misses his dad. His dad's dead. Okay, so it's just to hang out with them. Right. Yeah. Okay. But why isn't Harry dead? Because the goblin uh, formula kept him from dying. He didn't actually die. Yeah. 
he, just like he, everyone who died is not it. actually dead. Yeah. yeah, well, he faked it when you know he had his tearful goodbye to Peter. All right. So uh, then you got Norman Osborn with Kane and the baby, and <laughs> just looking at it. Yeah, Norman's like, "Why is there a baby here? Like, what is this?" <laughs> This isn't part of it. Yeah, and yeah. Kane's like, so yeah, we're gonna kill the baby if 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 Peter doesn't do whatever your son wants to do. By the way, you're not actually Norman Osborn; you're a clone of Norman Osborn. He's like, oh, okay, that's okay. weird. I don't feel like a clone. Right. Well, that's bizarre. So yeah, that's the thing about a clone; you wouldn't feel like you were the clone. That's right. Yeah. So uh, Harry lures Spider-Man by shooting off a goblin-shaped firework into the sky. It's really impressive. It's, that it's is fantastic. Awesome. And impossible. Yep. So Spider-Man goes to Oscorp where, you know, Ben is chained up. Uh, he's attacked by Harry, uh, who is, you know, wearing the goblin costume, sans mask. No. Uh, like, oh, I'm not... Peter immediately assumes it's Subterfuge a clone. Subterfuge is over. Uh, right. Norman? No, I'm not Norman. I'm Harry! Uh, uh, I you know, know my hair looks the same, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's well, it's genetic. Yeah. So, uh, you know... So it's great. You know, Harry's like, of course you'd think it was a clone. Like, you got clones on the brain, man. No, I just didn't die. <laughs> Just because everyone else is a clone doesn't mean I'm a clone. Yeah. And you saw me die also doesn't mean I'm a clone. Exactly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to take away your family because you took my family away. Right. And as I rebuild my family, because I'm eventually going to go find my my wife, Liz, and my son, Normie, and I'm going to get back together with them as I kill your baby. So as Harry is monologuing about destroying his life because he knows, you know, like my dad's with Kane with the baby, so obviously... You know, like, I got everything. I, I, I got the upper hand. Right. So then Norman Osborn smashes through the window wearing a goblin costume. And he's like, Harry, you gotta stop this! <laughs> this is crazy even for me! Harry, I never signed on for babies! That's I didn't, right. Uh, I didn't steal, but I never stole a baby. I don't kill babies. That's, That's not my up. character. Yeah. Except it totally is, because I, he I did do that in the original continuity. Definitely would, but... So... But I'm a clone, so I, I have a little bit more morality for some reason. Yeah. And so Norman's like, Harry, you gotta stop this! I love you, Harry! <laughs> 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 Like, nice. <laughs> literally, Harry's like, what are you doing? You're a crazy asshole, too. You beat me all the time. Like, you, you know, he's like, yeah, no, I gotta end this cycle of violence. I've had a change of heart, Harry. Seeing a infant baby in, like, cold conditions, <laughs> surrounded by genetic monsters like Cain, <laughs> snapped me out of my genetically reinforced psychosis that I... I guess don't have now that I'm a clone. Whatever. Maybe he didn't get the. Did he get the goblin? No, he did get the goblin. Formula. He has yeah, to have he has had got, it. He has the goblin. So formula. he should have the psychosis that came along with the goblin form. That's right. It's just seeing the baby in peril. It just shocked him out of it. It's just, just like, yeah. What am I what doing? Am I, this is <laughs> actually kind of morose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pumpkin bomb you, and then I'm going to snap your neck. Maybe right. it was the fact that he realized he's a clone. Yep. He literally just came out of a clone chamber, yep. and there's a baby in front of him. He's just like, okay, this is just messed up this is overly complicated if i was involved in the whole thing and like gradually inch by inch got into it that right. would be one thing if i were the <laughs> if i were the progenitor of the whole thing yeah. i might be i would more... take one step and then you take the next step and the next step and pretty soon you're stealing babies but me this was just dumped on me just now and i'm like whoa no whoa too, no the too, bridge far. too much too fast <laughs> that's right that's right so then you get a goblin fight where harry fights norman it's goblin v goblin it's goblin v goblin uh Harry's gonna kill. TVG. Yep, Harry's gonna kill Peter. Uh, you know he does the whole like Harry does the goblin glider thing where he's gonna sh he's gonna hit Peter with the goblin glider. Yeah. And Ben is too slow to get in the way, so then Norman <laughs> jumps in the way and he gets goblin glided again. Two people get stabbed by a goblin glider within like four pages. That's right. <laughs> yeah, but. Norman's not going to survive it. No. No. So Even just though like he's he got didn't goblin formula. The first time. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's he a clone. So when he gets hit by the goblin like, glider. No, no, not again. <laughs> hit my glider again. He doesn't say not again, unfortunately. <laughs> but he does die. And he, he dies in Harry's arms and he disintegrates because that's what happens when clones we die. clones die, yeah. Uh, and Harry's like, don't worry, Dad. I'll clone you I'll again. I'll just make a new I'll make a new it Dad. It really bother me. Yeah, and I'll change this behavior so it doesn't turn on me. In fact, you know what? I don't really like you. Yeah. yeah. Um, so and and uh, and he just like gets away. He gets Harry gets away. Harry just gets away. Just, just, what? Well, he wait, stops get away? to remember. grab his to, to comfort or hold his dying father, and somehow he still gets away it, after that. Literally, we don't even see it. He's just like you know. Peter wants to know where his daughter is, and uh, Ben's like, let it, let him go. You know, like let it, what let, we gotta go. We gotta be with. We no, gotta be with I gotta know Kane. where my daughter is. I know. I gotta grab him. By what the are you way, talking about? Uh, so what happened with Kane and Norman was Norman became Green Goblin and fought his son. 
Kane just brought the baby back. Oh. He went to Aunt May and Mary Jane. He's like, hey guys. And they're like, oh my God, what? <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I didn't mark a Kane it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, I've been, I've been talking to Norman Osborn and he set me straight Norman on Norman Osborn, he's dead. No, 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 no there's no, a clone. There's a clone. Like yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. I'm a clone. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to use cape. So he's like, here's your baby. Thanks. And, uh, and I never really felt right about taking it, so I figured I should be the one yeah. to turn yeah. it. Yeah, well, and, I, and I, I, like, if he was ever, like, actually on the level, I would assume, yeah, you know what, I will steal the baby, because if I don't, then Harry will just get someone less reliable to steal mm. the baby. Like, if I steal the baby, I know right. I'm not going to kill it. Right. Anyway, so he gives the baby back, and Aunt May's like, you have a kind voice and a good heart. Do I know you? He's like, no, I know you don't, Aunt May. And that's, a, you know, he doesn't say Aunt May right. as well. And he's like, oh, that's my loss. Goodbye. <laughs> so he leaves. And then, uh, and then we wrap up Jesus. a couple weeks later where Ben is like, I'm going to leave. And well, that was pretty messed up. That was pretty I'm weird. I'm going. And Peter's like, well. I got stabbed in the back by a goblin glider, and uh, I don't really want to do this anymore. <laughs> Literally that. Your life is shit. I love it because, like, you know, Peter's like, listen, man, like, we should team up once in a while. Like, it'd be cool. It would have been... Wouldn't it be cool if there were two Spider-Men, one of whom was married and had a kid, and the other was... Who, who's single? Yeah. And we, and we just had two books. And, and have your cake. Yeah. And eat both and of eat them. And eat it, too. And, and, and Ben's like, yeah, that would have been cool. And he gets on his motorcycle and he drives away. And, and and Mary Jane's like, will he ever come back? And Peter's like, I have a feeling we'll be seeing Ben Riley again pretty soon. And, like, the book ends on this kind of, like, you know, happy note of, wouldn't it have been better if there were two Spider-Men? And it's like, there's, like, 19 Spider-Men. Well, now. also, if Peter and Mary had a baby at the end of it. Right. Yeah. Which, like, yes, that would be better. Yeah. And Norman's dead. Harry's alive. He's, like, more crazy than ever. And he's got, like, big machinations. He's a good villain for Peter. Yeah. But he also has cloning technology. Well... And he's got the serum to, sta to stabilize. Well, he had it. He used it on Norman. Like, does he understand it? No. Harry's a dumbass. He has to have other people <laughs> do it for him. He's not a genius scientist. He's not. And they blew up the jackal's lair and killed the jackal. So there's no more jackal. He's got to start from scratch. Yeah. If he wants to do all that. That's right. And But, but Doc Ock is alive, and he remembers all that stuff. So you yeah. could still do it. Yeah. Uh, okay. So the, the, the new Clone Saga, or the real Clone Saga, is just, a, is just a pared down version of the original Clone Saga, where, at the end of the day, it is still all about goblins and family, but, <laughs> you know, we switched the goblins. We, sw we switched the goblins after Lens died. <laughs> the baby's alive, yep. Ben Riley's still alive. That's right. Everyone I is still alive except for Norman. Right. And, and Jackal. And Jackal. Did, in the original, after the original, so Ben Riley dies, mm -hmm. does he come back, mm -hmm. like, quickly? No. Because he comes back way later, he right? Come, that's when he comes that's back. That's when he comes back. Okay. He comes so back this way is like, later. no, 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 we're just not even getting rid of him in the first place. That's right. This, we yeah. just never get rid of him. Yeah. And which is a great idea. That is a good idea. Especially because, like, I like Ben. Yeah. You know, I didn't like him when he was, like, taken over my well, book. It was, yeah. But it was stupid. When they, they kept saying that he was the real Peter Parker. Yeah, yeah, that bothered me to no end. And then they were like, oh, no, you don't like that? Okay, well, we'll just kill him then. Like, no, you created this character. You yeah. can't just dispose, you can't just kill things that you're done with. Yep. Like, what's worse is. But I am the villain. <laughs> I am the comic book creator. Yeah. What's yeah, worse right. is then he becomes the, like, villain of the clone conspiracy. Oh, so it's like, we brought him back and he's, like, psychologically and we damaged. we fucked him up. And then. He has like a redemptive arc written by Peter David where he's like, he's all gross looking and he's like trying to be better, but he's still an asshole. And it's like, that's not Ben. That's Jesus. Kane. That's Kane. And they already redeemed Kane. Before they, <laughs> before they even brought back Ben in Spider Island, they're like, so Kane's here. And because they brought back Jackal and, uh, and that, that, that book's about clones too. <laughs> but, uh, you know, they, they cure Kane of his degenerative disorder. So we have basically another Spider-Man. Right. We basically have Ben, right. but more distinct. Because Ben is just blonde Peter Parker. Yeah, now he's got long hair. But he's got long hair. And he's, uh, you know, he's, he's got a rougher edge to him. Yeah, he's a he was more, a murderer. A little more effed up. A little more effed yeah, up. If they more cure, baggage. Yeah. If they cure his, uh, his condition. Yes. Can he still market Kane people? Mm, I, I mean, like, he can... He could use the Spider-Man powers to kind of like rip their faces off, but no, he can't mark a cane. <laughs> so no, no, you okay. can't just like touch them and burn their faces. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess because that was part of the deformity or whatever that he had. Yeah, it's all it's all part of the package. That's right. There is a Spider-Man story in which Peter Parker 
kind of the zone marker Kane. Oh, yeah? In deference to Kane. Why? Because it's messed up. <laughs> we'll do that one, maybe. If people want to see that, we'll talk about it. I it want to do something real fucked up, and I have just the thing. <laughs> Spider-Man, the real Clone Saga. It's in the description if you want to buy it. It's a six-issue miniseries that is an attempted redemption by DeFalco and Mackey, uh, and, and, and made possible thanks to the art by Todd Nock who does a nice job of kind of like approximating the 90s style and, and giving his own little twist on things. Really? You, know, I, I, you think? I, I think it that... It looks totally not 90s it, to me. It, I think that... Mostly it's the character designs. If you Maybe were to... The that's the thing, is that the character designs are exactly from that era, yeah. and they don't look like vulgarly out of place. Right. And that's the right. thing, is like, okay. if you drew Kane as he was today, and you had like Alex Maleev draw it or something, it'd be freaking weird. <laughs> if you had anyone drawing comics today draw that awful jackal in his leather mm. trench coat with no clothes on underneath, by the way, uh, it would be stupid. Mm. I mean, it is stupid, and it well, looks it, terrible, but like, yeah. at least it looks like it's part of the story, as opposed to like, where did this come from? Yeah, right. So... It, it exists. I mean, it does... <sighs> in, in your opinion, is it better? Right. Yes, but only because it's shorter. Like, <laughs> so, right. like, you and, can get through it and faster. And the things... The, everything kind of lines up. You know, like, there is a, there is a through line. Like, Kane is a puppet of yeah. Harry. He, he does things seemingly at random, but those random things are actually in service to what he is being told to do by Harry, and those things are still for the singular purpose of resurrecting his dad and hurting Spider-Man. So that actually tracks. Like, that works fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so say you never read the original Clone Saga. Right, and you, then you read this. Which is insane. Right. But yeah, you never read the original. Uh -huh. Is this a good replacement? No. They're horrible. Because like, you don't need either one. Is no, the I don't thing. want a clone saga. Yeah. Like I don't care about. And it, and if you read this in a vacuum with no clone saga, you'd be like, this is. What the, this yeah, is like, like what? There's these horrible leaps and like <laughs> suddenness that where you're like, oh, if you if you read a hundred issues, you'd understand. Like right. what? What fucking what? Yeah, there, well, yeah there's a lot of issues in between where like Ben Riley is Spider Man for a while, and right. he's just going on normal normal Spider Man adventures. Exactly. I'm not gonna draw all that. Right. You literally time. like made this so it's, you could say like yeah, but I didn't want to make it a hundred issues. Right, uh, but but even then you're still implying it and you still are drawing on the like the, the, the well of, of the existence of the previous like entity. Yeah. yeah. So like it's it's not a one to one like replacement. No. This is more like a supplement. Like you read the Clone Saga and then you read this. And you're like, oh, that's a lot less complicated. It's, yeah. It's a distillation yeah. with a couple of changes. Yes. Yeah. Well. I will say, like, it removes some of the, like, weird stuff that was, like, clearly editorial. Like, yeah. Aunt May dying mm -hmm. and then not being dead. Right. The baby, like, Mary Jane being pregnant, they're going to have a baby. Yep. Oh, no, wait, we don't want them to have a baby. Uh, 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 it gets stolen. Yeah. Like, it's way less random seeming. It is very less random. Yeah, no, this is deliberate. The Falco wrote and kind of, like, created May Parker's continuity. Spider-Girl. Right. Who lives in the MC2 universe. You could just make this the foundation oh. for it. Like, hmm. this could actually be technically a prequel to the Spider-Girl series. Hmm. Because in the issue that she first debuts, which is the What If comic, they just say, what if she didn't die? Right. So this is just over there now. Yeah. Well, the only thing is... but we could. The only thing is, Ben is also still dead yeah. in the Spider-Girl continuity. But he could die later on from something else. That's true. Yeah, that's when she's already grown up. They, that could be the next book. Yeah. They'll do a book with the death of Ben Riley. Right. Like, Uncle what? Ben dead again. There you go. I like that. That's good <laughs> good rhythm. But uh but yeah, it's it, it could be kind of construed as like a prequel to Spider Girl. Which we should do someday, because Spider Girl's a fun I like book. that because then it at least has a function. Yes, as opposed to just it's an apology. It's a twenty dollar apology. An ineffectual apology. Hey, hey, we're sorry. You have to pay us for it. <laughs> that's that's extortion. No, look, no, this isn't a comedy we're being book. benevolent. We're sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Extortion implies I plan to do it from the beginning. Ah. I didn't plan, the, I didn't write a terrible clone saga with the idea that like 30 well, years later I was going to like fix it and sell it to you. <laughs> I mean, that is what I'm doing. But I, I am just, doing that, but that's, op that's opportunist. That was called a whim. <laughs> I'm an opportunist. That's right. Not an extortionist. I'm an entrepreneur. It's very different. <laughs> How dare you, sir? Okay, well, you still. Feels the same. <laughs> yeah, but I'm still screwed. Yeah. <laughs> Right, but I'm still at 20 bucks. Oh, well, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Well, only if you want to know what happens. <laughs> I, and you do.
<laughs> so check it out. We'll see you guys next time with another episode. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. Keep reading.